Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. I am having some weird things happen to my computer right now. So, our party is in Barovia. They have just deposed of the Borgomeister. His wife, the Baroness, seems mildly upset, but not incredibly upset. His son does not care. That's right. I am the AMDM Lee. This is what's left of my cup of coffee. And you're watching Bridgewater Nights. First and foremost, let me say happy late Father's Day to all you dad gamers. Um, somebody asked me what I was doing, if I was still going to play D&D &D on Father's Day, and I spelled it out. D and, with an A, D, dad. Yes, I was still going to play Dungeons and Dragons on Father's Day because I like Dungeons and Dragons. So... Got the party together. We didn't end up having one of our party members come up and missing. She said she was going to be there, and she never showed. You know who you are. But that's all right. I didn't kill her character out of spite. I thought about it. I really, really did. So <laughs> the party makes its way back from uh, basically deposing of the Borgermeister, telling his wife that he needs to be put in chains and locked up. Um, and that he shouldn't be in charge and if he's in charge when they come back there's going to be hell to pay so after that they left and gone to the inn and while they've, been, they've talked with the innkeeper a couple of times they have agreed to check out what is happening at the winery why there's no wine they do know that uh, the innkeeper's father runs the brewery the winery while they are there having their lovely dinner a noble lady shows up by the way this contains spoilers sorry happens the noble one woman is Fianna Walker and she wants to thank the adventurers for helping the pose of the Borgomeister. She has offered to pay for their stay at the inn and also paid them 250 gold for what troubles that they have already had. And if they were to need anything, they were just to come see her. She is more than happy to help them keep the peace in, in the city. Um, I will, I don't want to say what else goes on there because sometimes my players watch these videos. Most of the time they don't, but sometimes they do. So they proceed to go from there, head towards the winery. They're actually going, if you know, if you're familiar with the map, they're going to go below, cut through the woods, because they've got, they want to keep some of the party members safe. They're going to cut through the woods, deal with the stuff at the winery, and then cut back through the woods to get on the road, heading towards the abbey, the Amber Abbey. Uh, on the way there, they come across a, some individuals upon the road who stop them, claiming they're there. There's a toll to pay. At which point, Desiree shoots, stands up, and shoots. Uh, <laughs> Or was it, was it, uh, not Firebolt, but, uh, she basically shoots all three of them. <laughs> Which, of course, starts the round of combat. These three bandits are werewolves. So, they, I, I, I was able to kill one of the horses, but... The bandit, the werewolf bandits themselves did not fare 
quite so well. <laughs> now, mind you, I am running the, the party itself is very powerful, and it's a. I mean, the I have a level ten war or a level nine warlock in the party, a level eight fighter cleric, and then two level sevens. Well, a level seven and a level six. So. It was a slaughter. They slaughtered these poor werewolves. Um, and then just carried on. Yeah, no, 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 no. So they, they, they move on from that. I mean, they just really just... These poor werewolves didn't stand a chance. They had no clue what they were getting into. Uh, <laughs> so they, they move along again. And almost to their destination. And they run across a couple of more people barbarian-esque types carrying battle axes and walking along the side of the road in the same direction. Well, these individuals didn't say anything. They stepped to the side of the road. They heard the wagon. They stepped to the side of the road very cautiously and watched the, as the wagon passed by. Desiree sees two big burly men walking along the side of the road and does her best to Winking. Woo. Woo them a little bit. At which point I proceeded to tell her they're not watching Desiree. They're keeping an eye on Clay. So. Uh, it's a little bit different. But that's okay. So these guys did not bother with them at all. They have no beef with them, no need. They proceed on, and then they meet, they, they split the party up, leaving the two absent party members with the wagon with the two NPCs, as the rest of the party cuts through the woods and heads to the winery. Upon there, they are greeted by an elderly man covered in a cloak. Yes, and he seems kind of crazy. Not like dangerous crazy just kind of forgetful crazy like old man crazy uh, a little bit of grump grump to him and he's like ah, who sent you oh I bet you. my son sent you didn't he yeah I know he did yeah I didn't ask for his help but you're gonna you're here you're gonna help you know they're really <laughs> so yeah that's that's just what I thought yeah what was that what's that word Ah, ah, ah. Um, so they were told that they had been the wine had stopped because the winery had been besieged by Baba La Saga and there are a bunch of trees walking around the winery destroying things so the party is going to go in and fight some trees now being Father's Day I decided to cut that cut the game short we had to start late because of work and We'd already had a combat with the werewolves. I just didn't want to get into another long, drawn-out combat. It was a good place to stop. Uh, so that is where we had ended it. Right before they go fight trees. At the Wizard of Wines. The Wizard of Winery. So we'll see what the party has in store. As next week they face... The, what would be a good title for they face trees on the vine anyway that's all I got for now guys if you like these videos please click on the like button if you think someone else would like it please click on the share button every likes and inspiration every shares and advantage and every subscription is an experience point help me gain 300 experience points so I can get to second level and as always, for every video that you share, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. Have him contact me. I'll let him know, hey, it's perfectly fine. It's okay. Let's go. That's all you got to do. That's it. So that is all I have for now, ladies and gentlemen. So go forth. Yeah, I'll go roll some dice, will you? Get this. Go on. Go. Go roll some dice. Go. Go forth and roll some dice. Ah, ah.